foundry industry was in 1985. And uh, I had already worked in the semiconductor industry uh, for 30 years at that point. I started in the industry in uh, 1955. And um, in the 70s, I, I ran uh, the largest semiconductor business in the world at that time, which was Texas Instruments Semiconductor Business. During that period, one might say that uh, I, I uh, scaled the height and uh, was able to uh, uh, look down uh, at uh, all the available, available roads. Again, that came, that came from uh, Chinese literature, a, a, a poem, a famous poem from the uh, Song Dynasty, I think. Uh, it goes like, uh, you scale the height, you climb up to the top floor of a building, you look down, and you see all the available roads down there. Mm -hmm. So I was uh, running the um, semiconductor business at TI. I, it was really the height of semiconductor industry in the world. And I looked at all the available roads. And uh, I really found none for a newcomer. So you had to have a, a new business model. Uh, and uh, then, uh, of course, I came up with the foundry business model, which was to take, just to take a part of what the existing big semiconductor companies were doing. Every big semiconductor company was doing design, the so-called um, uh, create function, uh, manufacture the so-called make function, and then sell what they make, sell what they create and, and make in the form of a product. So now we just take the make function from what they're doing. And uh, we just specialize, the foundry business just specializes in the make function. Well, it sounded pretty good. Particularly today, everybody thinks that uh, it was a very clever idea. But at the time, it was really a solution looking for a problem. Uh, because nobody needed a, just the make function. Uh, now, there were very, very few companies back in 1985 that only designed things. Uh, those were called fabulous companies. So I remember um, they have statistics so, uh, that, uh, that tell me that that uh, back in 1985, there might be 20-some uh, uh, fabulous companies in the world. By 1995, three or 400 fabulous companies already. And the big ones uh, had already started to form. Uh, the big ones like uh, Qualcomm, Broadcom, uh, NVIDIA, uh, Marvell, and they all were formed uh, in the well, Qualcomm happened to be formed in 1985. It was pretty early, but uh, a lot of the others were formed in the early 90s, middle 90s. Um, and uh, so the need uh, quickly, the need for, for a foundry like TSMC very quickly uh, arose, uh, uh, and we became needed.